William Daly for Santa Fe Athletics here with uh, number three of your St. Francis Xavier women's soccer team, Stephanie Venedem, the lone goal scorer in a tough 2-1 loss to the St. Mary's Huskies this afternoon at Olin Stadium. Steph, thank you for being here. Thank you. Steph, obviously one of the biggest factors uh, in the game today uh, was not a player on the field, but the more uh, the wind here at Olin Stadium. How much of an effect did that have on the way you guys played the game? Um, I think uh, the win we, whenever we play SMU, we usually come into a game with a lot of like rain and cold and wind, so that's uh, quite common. So we kind of expected that, and especially in the middle of October, usually we actually get the colder weather a little sooner, so this is actually kind of a, um, a little almost a surprise. But um, I think we did well with the wind. The wind was definitely, it was hard to, when the ball was in the air, it was hard to control it because the wind would take it. So we definitely played our best when we played on the ground. Uh, this is your first game in 13 days after the tie with uh, CBU. Uh, how tough was that to be a, a dormant for a two-week period? Um, it was definitely good. It was, uh, I think it was a good two weeks though. We got to uh, get some good training in, which is really good. We needed to uh, work on our finishing and moving forward quicker. So I think in this game we definitely showed that as well when we uh, had most of the possession. Uh, the defense had a bit of a, a strong outing. Slaughter only managing to beat them uh, twice to two uh, polar ends of the game right before the, uh, right before the first half and then early into the second. Um, how tough is it to have uh, the, the likes of Ramsden and Zanetti out? Um, it's definitely tough considering that they're uh, fifth and fourth year players, but um, I think we have a team of 27, so we definitely have a lot of other people that are willing to step up, and I think we came into this game knowing that, so we had a little bit more um, motivation. We knew that we had to step up, and I think that was a good thing for us. What was the message from uh, Trevor at halftime uh, right after they got the goal right at the end? Um, it was definitely tough because we end up, we give away the goal. We, we tend to give them the ball and that's when we lose, or when we lose possession, that's when they capitalize. So um, what we needed to work on was moving the ball um, quicker forward and um, not losing possession at the back, trying to force it going in front. Uh, two very strong offensive showings from X early in the game and then again uh, later in the second half. You came onto the bench late. How did you stay hungry and manage to get the... Uh, get the late goal for X? Um, coming into this game, we knew that um, this is a, it's a big game for us. We needed to, uh, we need to get some wins to, to make it to playoffs. We're definitely fighting for a playoff position. So we decided to, we had to come in um, wanting it. And I think um, just being on the bench, knowing that um, with 27 people, not everybody can even dress. So I think coming off the bench, knowing that um, I was lucky enough to dress was I think just enough in itself to, to make us, we needed to win. So. Uh, any shout outs you want to make? Sorry? Any shout outs you'd like to make? Um, n no. <laughs> Thank you, though.